Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll share how I get organized and stay on top of my assignments for my part-time grad school program. So first let me just say that although my life seems hectic to me, it's nowhere near what some of my fellow students are experiencing. There are lots of folks in my program who are working um, full-time, part-time students and raising small children, some of them as single parents. Honestly, hats off to them. That said, I think that my methodology could be helpful for anyone regardless of how crazy your schedule is. So I started grad school this fall and I'm still working through some of the tools that I'm using. I started out with a totally different organizing system than one that I use for everyday life and I promptly discarded that after a couple of weeks. Life is too crazy to have to check multiple systems. So if you've seen any of my ADHD videos, you know that I use Toodledo as a task list and Google Calendar for scheduling. So as long as you have tools that perform both of these tasks, even if they're not the ones that I use, this system should work for you. And yes, even though it seems duplicative, you really need to use both a calendar and a task list. They perform different functions and they back each other up. Oh, and these systems only work if you actually look at them every day, so that's a good habit to start building. So I'm in a hybrid distance education program, so that means that most of our studies are done at home. Because I'm not expected to attend classes weekly or even twice weekly, I don't have regular in-person reminders of these assignments, so I have to keep on top of things on my own. Each class operates on a different weekly schedule. One runs Monday to Sunday, the other one runs Thursday to Wednesday, but both of my classes have three components. A weekly reading lectures and deliverables, um, smaller one-off assignments and large assignments like papers or projects. So I sit down and I spend a couple of hours at the beginning of the semester reading through the syllabus and getting organized. And here's what I do for each of these class components. So in almost every distance learning class there is reading to be done every week. Sometimes the professors will have you watch a lecture or listen to some narrated PowerPoint slides as well. In both of my classes, there's a weekly writing assignment to be posted on a discussion board, and then there's a requirement later in the week to respond to other students' posts. So I'm a creature of habit, and I tend to do much better with a weekly routine, so at the beginning of the semester, I take a look at the syllabus, and I estimate how long it's going to take to complete those weekly tasks. So I might have to adjust this after the first couple of weeks of classes. So let's say that I determine it's going to take four hours to do the reading and to watch the lectures, two hours for my writing assignment, and one hour to respond to my classmates. So now I'm going to look at my calendar and I'm going to block off the time for the first week. So I'm going to do three hours of reading on Monday night, an hour of reading and two hours of writing on Wednesday night, and then I'll respond back to posts for an hour on Saturday afternoon. So now I'm going to make all of those appointments recur weekly so that um, so that is my routine for this class. I'm going to try not to plan anything that conflicts with this um, because this is always schoolwork time. And if it does conflict, I'm going to make sure that I move this to a different night. Okay, so now that I've um, added these tasks to my calendar, I also need to add these generic tasks to Toodle Do under a specific tag. So we're going to call this um, class one. and um, I'm going to use the exact same dates that I used on my Google Calendar. I need to set these tasks to repeat weekly as well. So Toodledo helps me to see all of the tasks that I have for this class together. If I fail to complete something, Toodledo will continue to remind me until it's done and I've checked it off. That's something that Google Calendar doesn't do. So now I'm going to put in one very important weekly repeating task for the start of each week. This task reminds me to look at the syllabus so that I can determine the specific assignments that I have for that week. So I leave the blocks of time on my calendar generic, but every week I do change the Toodle Do tasks so that they show specifically what I need to do. So for example, instead of just reading, I'm going to change my Toodle Do task to read chapter 10. Instead of writing, I'll put in write discussion board 8 and put the instructions in the notes. So I have a recurring to-do item that changes the names of these tasks every week. Smaller one-off assignments. So these are tasks that don't fall into the routine of the week, but they also aren't going to take any longer than a couple of hours. So for example, in one class, after a study module is complete, which is several weeks, we have to write an assessment of our learning and of our classmates' contributions. It's only a couple pages long, but it's on top of all the regular work that we have for the week. 
So you can handle this in one of two ways. Either you can find all of those one-offs on the syllabus at the beginning of the semester and you can book time for them then, or you can just handle these at the beginning of the week when you're going over the syllabus and doing your weekly planning. It really just depends on how much wiggle room you have in your schedule. Either way, these assignments need to have an estimated time, they have to be scheduled on the calendar, and they also have to be put into, into Toodle Do. Medium-sized assignments and papers. So depending on the magnitude of the assignment, I handle big assignments differently. If it's a six to eight page paper, which I consider to be a medium assignment, I just make sure I have a bunch of time the week before or two um, before it's due, like 12 to 14 hours. I figure draft writing for me is about one to one and a half hours per page um, for writing with research. And then since I'm brand new to APA style and I pretty much suck at it right now, I need like four hours to figure out style issues. And then I need a couple of hours of editing and rewriting. So at the beginning of the semester, I can block off that time on my calendar for the week before the assignment is due or the week earlier than that. I've actually been doing it the week earlier since right now I'm big on asking for help, particularly with APA style, since it honestly feels like I'm a stranger in a strange land and the natives can pick out mistakes so much more quickly than I can. But if you are asking for help, you have to give people enough time to do it on their schedule. So bigger assignments like a 10 page um, term paper that's worth a good portion of your grade, these require a little bit different planning. So I have a whole video on planning big projects and papers, but the most important thing to do is to put a reminder in Toodle Do five to six weeks in advance of the paper due date to start breaking the project into smaller tasks. So this paper that I have looming right now requires first reading a several hundred page book and then reading and understanding more than 10 peer-reviewed scholarly articles. There's no real way to speed through these tasks. So I broke the book up into 100 page chunks and I assigned some time over three weeks to read the book. Then I broke the remainder of the paper into smaller tasks. So you can watch my entire video on that process, but just remember at the beginning of the semester, create a task in Toodle Do to plan out the paper well in advance and spend a little time blocking off chunks of weekend time leading up to the due date. So I do this for each of my classes, and even though life gets hectic and I frequently feel like I have zero time, I'm generally not surprised by assignments um, or worried about when things are gonna be due. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.